Hello, um, I'm Chris. I, you know, looking at my old videos, I realized that I'm a really boring person to hear, listen to the entire time. So I decided to give this a try. Um, recently, someone on Twitter, whose name should be appearing somewhere in this vicinity right about now, uh, suggested I make a video about voice. Actually, I asked, and only one person came back. But that's better responses than I've ever gotten. So thank you, sir. Um, and, uh, since I'm not really sure where to start with the voice, um, uh, it certainly would be rather dreary of me to go back to C Voice and IIUC, um, and go back in the call manager express days and deal with dial peers and stuff like that. That would be a boring video, but I wanted to do a fun one. So this one is going to be what I use and have been building up and kind of practicing with, uh, to make my voice labs happen and, uh, kind of what I started with and where I am now. And with that in mind, we're going to jump into my computer. So I will catch you there. So in my early, early, early days of starting out voice, really the only thing I ever really used was GNS3 and a virtualization software called VirtualBox, both of which are free and open source. So it allowed me the ability to study um, virtually inside just my Windows desktop. I had XP at the time, and literally you can just download VirtualBox. It's it's like a VMware open source type thing by Oracle or slash Sun. Uh, one of those bought the other. I think Oracle bought Sun. I don't know. Um, so you just you did that. I was able to to you know virtualize hosts, and I'll, I I have a a couple of GNS3 tutorials out there, and then you know I drag in a thirty six or thirty seven hundred. 3600 would probably be okay as well. And uh, I'd, I put an iOS on it that had a, you know, Call Manager Express running. I'd start it up, step out of PC, and, uh, you know, I'd, I'd come in here and I would uh, add in cloud, and I'd have that cloud be configured to one of the, the interfaces that um, I would make and attach to my virtual machine, and then I would magically just create these wonderful, wonderful networks. Um, that would enable me to do things like, you know, having multiple 3700s talk with dial peers. I could make Call Manager Express communicate to virtual phones on uh, two different virtual machines that are attached to these different networks, and they connect over the WAN, and I could make it all kinds of complicated. It was fantastic. So that was the origin of me, uh, of me doing this. And then I, I kind of had to take it a little bit a step further, and we're going to kind of disappear back into me again really quickly. All right, so it didn't take me long to realize I kind of need to actually have some equipment. And while I don't own very much advanced equipment, I wanted to be able to make phones freaking ring. So I bought a couple of cheapo, like, single-line phones off the internet, and I have some on my shelf over there. Um, and I bought a 79, or, sorry, 1760V, um, and the V just means it has a voice iOS on it, basically. And that's this puppy. And uh, with that, I was able to make all kinds of phones talk to each other. Now, I was even able to make it more complicated because I had the stuff I just showed you on my computer, which I'm pointing at it like you know where it is. Um, but I was able to connect it to that stuff so that uh, I could have my real hardware interface with my virtual hardware, and I could make things even more complicated. And it's even more exciting for me because I could make a virtual phone ring a real phone in my room, and it's just, it's so exciting. And then I kind of had to take it a little bit of a step further uh, when I started moving into actual... Unity, uh, Unity Connection, and Cisco Unified Communications Manager uh, configurations, and that's when I bought this cheap little freaking server. So I bought this rackable system server for literally a hundred dollars, I think, and it's got these like two old Xeon processors and four gigs of RAM, and honestly, you should get something a little bit better than this. But as far as you know, learning how to install and get a basic feel for uh, the Unity and Call Manager boxes. You can install ESXi, which is what I did, um, a 32-bit version because that's the only thing that supports um, on it. And uh, you can you can run it and uh, you can reach it. And um, I'll, I'd be glad to show you that really quickly if you don't mind. So. When I was setting this up, I went in and I got a, a DVD and I, you know, installed VMware, uh, v, VMware, VMware vSphere Hypervisor ESXi. Could they make that any longer sounding? Anyway, um, it's free 
and uh, obviously for personal use, and uh, it gives you a hypervisor for you to build your VMs off of, so you can use it and um, install things like a Ubuntu server, a Windows box, uh, obviously Call Manager, which is a Red Hat Linux distribution uh, that it sits on top of, same thing with uh, Unity, and um, you can install those things and you can make them all work together and it, before you know it you, you're logging into your own little call manager box that you've installed and uh, it's really not all too complicated um, I'll probably have some tutorials on it in the future once we get there but uh, that's that's pretty much where I'm at now with my home lab so that's pretty much all I got for you um, I hope I hope that helped you out I mean that that's basically where I went from start to finish as far as learning my, my home lab. Uh, started out with very basic learning call manager express and ideal with servers and travel around and you know you, you grow and uh, if anything in this video you know you want to ask a question about feel free to leave a comment and I, I will promise you I'll do my very best to put up a video explaining to you um, how I did what I did especially if something I did in this video um, wasn't explained thoroughly which almost none of it was um, if you want me to explain how I did something in detail I would love to uh, let me know um, you can pop me up on Twitter, uh, leave a comment down below, or go to my blog, which you'll find a, a link for somewhere probably down there, um, or you're already on my blog. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we can work together in the future and build a bright, better, you know, network for the rest of us.